Hello and welcome back to the Interpac Academy. I'm Dave Kraber, Director of the Interpac Design and Innovation Group. Today, in our final video of the valve series, we will discuss flow and pressure control valves. Interpac offers a full line of flow and pressure control valves that provide control to many industrial hydraulic systems. Determining the best valve or valves for your application can be a challenging task if you do not understand a few operating principles. In this video series, we will provide some operating tips to aid you in your valve selection process. As a review, flow and pressure control valves provide hydraulic system conditioning, while the directional control valves provide system control of hydraulic cylinders or tools. Flow and pressure control valves offer options to maintain system operating pressures, set maximum hydraulic pressures, and provide unique system control to improve your system performance and safety. Pressure control valves include pressure relief, pressure reducing, and sequencing valves. We will cover the operation of each of these to understand how they work and how they can be used in any system. The pressure relief valve, PRV, is used to control the pressure in many hydraulic systems. In their simplest use, they prevent the overpressurization of a system to protect the system components from damage. In most hand pump and small hydraulic systems, a simple internal safety PRV serves this function. For larger, more complex systems, an external PRV should be used. Valves such as the Enerpac V152 pressure relief valve is designed to control the pressure in the system and is capable of long life and accurate pressure control. Most PRVs can be easily installed into a hydraulic circuit by positioning it into the main pressure line. Remember, the tank port of these valves must have an unobstructed line back to the reservoir to operate correctly. With a relief valve installed in the system, the pressure can be easily adjusted and the system pressure will never be higher than the relief valve setting. A pressure reducing valve is like a pressure relief valve, but provides a different function. The pressure reducing valve allows the system to operate with two discrete pressure settings, depending on the reducing valve location. The main system pressure is controlled by the PRV, while the system components downstream of the pressure reducing valve can operate at reduced pressure settings. This system design allows a high pressure for components that need to operate at high capacity, while lower pressure can provide reduced component forces on other places in the hydraulic circuit. A sequence valve does just as its name implies. It allows certain sections of the system to do their job, and when our specific conditions are met, the sequence valve commands other components to activate. A common use of these valves is in work holding. An example of applications is for a swing clamp and work supports on a machining fixture. A part can be placed into a hydraulically actuated machining fixture, and the system is energized. First, hydraulic work supports activate under the part and when they reach their desired pressure, they will provide a solid base for that part to rest on. The system pressure then builds to the sequencing pressure and the sequence valve shifts, allowing a hydraulic swing clamp to come down and clamp the part firmly in place. All this is done on a single hydraulic circuit with a sequence valve in the system. To accomplish this operation without the sequence valve, would typically require multiple control valves, making the system and its controls more complex and more expensive. Flow control valves include devices like needle valves and check valves, and also a combination of these. Needle valves can be used in a number of different hydraulic circuits. They can be used to dampen pressure spikes, or fluctuations in devices like pressure gauges to extend gauge life. Needle valves can be used as standard shutoff valves, or more precise versions can be available, usually with an F suffix for fine control. The fine metering versions can be used to provide more accuracy when fine fluid control is needed, such as lifting and lowering a load. 
They can also be used as a shutoff valve to control a multi-point lift by turning on different cylinders at different times. Check valves are devices that provide free flow in one direction, but do not allow for reverse flow. These can be used to the control the flow throughout the hydraulic circuit. Pilot operated check valves provide a unique operation as they operate as a traditional check valve, but then can provide flow in a reverse direction by use of a pilot signal to open the check valve, offering even more control options in a hydraulic system. Check valves can also be integrated into a needle valve to allow for free flow in one direction and metered flow in the opposite direction. This type of needle valve is often used with lifting cylinders to allow rapid advance of the lift and then provide metered or controlled lowering of a load. I hope you found this flow and pressure control valve discussion useful. If you're looking to specify an industrial valve into your application, this video series would help get you started. For further information, you can visit us at enterpack.com or reach out to your nearest Enterpack contact for further assistance. I'm Dave Praber for the Enterpack Academy, and thanks for watching.